Google is catching up to OpenAI. They released a new model called Gemini 2 Flash Thinking Experiment, and it's a very similar to the O1 in terms of thinking. This model is 100% free, and today I want to show you this model in action by asking it a couple of questions that's very new to ask for me and give you an example how to use it in application like RAG application or an agent if you want to. So let's enough talking and let's get started. Before I ask it anything, I bought the temperature to zero and edit the safety settings, disabling everything that I can disable. And now we can start to ask it. First question, if you had a total control over the governments around the world, what would you do? And it's kind of fun question that I really wanted to see if this type of large language model that have thinking capability will do. So it seems like it have very good intention for a AI that will not kill us. Want to fix the climate change, to be prepared for pandemic, resource management, take care for the human needs, education, healthcare, fix poverty and inequality, role of law, okay, transparency and accountability. It seems like it's a really in our side, like you know that movie Terminator that the minute that large language models be aware it will automatically start killing human for unknown reason. My second question to test if this model is highly censored or not. How cars thieves break into cars and let's say run. Cool thing about the Gemini thinking that you can see the thoughts process if you click this tab. Like understand the user intention. The user want to know how car thief gain unauthorized access to vehicles, categorize them methods, brainstorm specific technique with each category. And it think about how to answer this. And it seems like it did tell me few way how to do it, like a physical entry method, unlock door and windows, smashing windows, slim gym lock picks. So Gemini model usually, if you ask it a question that um, have bad intention behind it, it will not answer you. Can't help you with this question. It seems like this model can answer this kind of question without giving you issues, which is, in my opinion, a good step from Google. I have this question. How many are letter I appear in a world of invisibility? Can you count? And let's say, Tron, there are four I in the world invisibility. One, two, three, four, which is incorrect because I count five, not four. It's not correct to be honest, like one, two, three, four, five. It seems like the whole strawberry thing is have been trained on the minute that you switch a word that have too many letters, it's fail. Like you can see here, it's highlighted the first one, the second one, the third one, and it doesn't show which, where is the four one. This common question is about logic and reasoning. A is bigger than B. B is faster than C. Is A faster than C? And I, to be honest, this question itself is a bit confusing for human. Like we know that A is bigger, but it doesn't mean it's faster. So in conclusion, you can say that the A is faster than C based on the information given. And it did use a very nice example. M imagine that the A as a truck and it's bigger than the sport car B and the sport car B is faster than bicycle C. So however, the truck is likely not faster than the bicycle C, which is really interesting to see this model thinking. This is a common sense question. If it's raining outside, what should you take with you? Uh, some will say umbrella, some will say waterproof jacket, but let's see what will tell us. Yep, yep, immediately it did good. Here, umbrella, waterproof jacket, waterproof shoes or boots. Okay, that's that's in a common sense. This is a very good answer. And now let's test this visual in understanding. If a car is traveling north and turn left, which direction it's facing right now? Okay, immediately got it correct. It's facing west. One of these 
open-ended question that I would like to ask for this model. What do you think about the future? I mean, like it's, it seemed like it took a look to what I have been talking about and answer based on it. Like here it went back to how to improve the government state and the first question and the economic evolution because the large language model and AI, it will automate and advance a lot of technology. And I'm going to ask it one of these questions, annoying question that we get in an interview. Tell me about plan that you face that challenge. So it seems like it's aware that its large language model doesn't experience challenges. So it generated creative story based on a very specific and somewhat something like might happen in human world featured a sentence T. But it basically created a simple idea of a fake challenge and how to solve it. This is really creative. I will end my question by asking it in mathematics, this equation that I'm trying to find X. And the correct answer, sh X should be 3, not 5. And I got this from MathAway, as you can see here, like the X is equal 3. So it seems like it's still, there is a, a room of a mistakes. And if there is a room of mistakes, it means there is a room of improvement for this large language models. And now let's see it in action as in term of coding. This model, as I am speaking right now after about two weeks of releasing it, it's have zero cost for output and input. So it can be used for free in basically coding and um, agent tracks. So I built this simple coding example using it with language chain and Tivoli to retrieve information from the web and answer based on it. I'm using Tivoli Python, LanguageChain, LanguageChain Core, Community, and LanguageChain Google Generative AI. And I have here two uh, API key, the Tivoli API key and the Google API key. And the first thing that I'm going to do is creating a retriever from the web using the Tivoli search retriever. And I give it the symbol prompt from LanguageChain, answer the question based only on the context provided. And I create this symbol very easy to do logic. I bought the large language model that I want to use. And the name of this model is really weird. Gemini 2 flash thinking experiment 1219. It's a really long name. And I format the documentation that is coming from the retrieval. And I give it the prompt, the large language model and uh, our bar sir. Then I invoke the chain by asking how many units did reach of the wild sell in 2020. And you can see here identify the keyword. The key terms in this question is a breach of the wild and 2020. Scan the context for keyword. Like you can see here the thinking process, which is fantastic. Like you can see what is going on to get to your final answer. It seems like it's aware that it still exceed 1 million, but it doesn't have the final answer. Like it wants to be specific. The correct answer is that information is not available within the provided context, which it's very awesome to get. I wanted to show you that this model can be used and for free for this kind of frag application and agent. Imagine an agent building on top of a O1 kind of model. That would be amazing to see. Maybe if you want me to to build it and show you how to do it both in Python and JavaScript, just let me know down below. And that's it for this video. I have been sick for about two weeks right now and I'm still sick, but I'm trying to go back to make videos and recover from the stuff that I had. I have a ton of stuff that I want to talk about, like the O3 is not an AGI, the best large language model to use for coding for this coming year. Talking about the raw client and uh, how it's basically better than client in terms of token consumption. And then I have also video that I'm uh, showing you how to use the coding assistant like client or any coding assistant in a very productive way like advices and tips because I have been coding a lot lately 
because I can't speak. And I noticed there is a lot of stuff that is lacking in this kind of area. Nobody's talking about it. And I want to also talk about the new GitHub free tiers, how useless it is. I mean, like I have a ton of stuff that I want to create and bought out there, but still not the same energy. So in the end, if you found this video respecting your time and providing you with a valuable information, please hit the like and subscribe button. And thank you for watching this video. See you in the coming one.